guys welcome to or oh, welcome back to exposed and if i'm welcoming you back and you like it here i'd love it if you stayed and subbed back for part two shall we jump in well janet if you feel like you want to tell me what's going on you can email me okay and i'll get back to you Ugh, again not enough torque happy for mom I don't want to use my teeth because I have the gloss on. <sighs> so afraid of getting a taste of anything in my mouth. I'm so like, mm. I could never be on one of those shows that you have to eat weird stuff. I could never do it. It's like beige. I just don't like, I don't even like, I don't like the name Lano. You're weird. They, they're still on here whether they get a reaction or not. So I, I do what I want to do <clears throat> when I want to do it, you know? There's something about this. It's too... What is it? What is, what is it? Who knows? It, 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 I should think it's pretty. It's like light pink. It's... Well, it's plastic, but it looks like it's... Metal. Does the tube have to do? Is the stuff in it any good? Well, you know, um, like I liked it when. What company was that? Um, was it Stila? One of them had it in a metal tin. Yeah, it's like fifties looking. It smells like. It doesn't smell bad, but it smells. Powdery itch. It's nice. I like it. What I really like, which I just got at TJ Maxx, is the that what they sell it for the rescue cream. That's really, really good. That's gonna last me a long time. So I don't, I don't know if we're gonna keep this. We'll see. It was an impulse buy. It was an impulse buy that you knew you didn't like when you picked it up, but you saw it was only nine dollars, so you got it anyway. Now, nobody can have it because it's gonna go in the bin when you return it. I'm missing a lot of comments. Sorry, guys, I'm not looking. Okay, then I got this blush. So, I'm really looking for a different blush. And I talk about this also in my vlog for my Patreons. By the way, join three, $3 for the month. It really helps. Um, small group of people, I do extra things on there. And you get access. No, you don't, though. And then what you did do on there, you ended up putting on YouTube so people were paying for nothing. Have you cancelled your account on there? Have you given them their money back? Shall we see? Oh, hang on. I can go on here, can't I? Uh, Twenty nine eighty nine a month she's still getting. Because she hasn't had the decency to cancel this and give the people their money back. And she hasn't posted anything since 2022. May 2022. And that only got five hearts and three comments. Because it was all a pile of shite. But yet she's still getting twenty nine eighty nine a month. Madness, absolute fucking madness. Access to over sixty videos that I've done in the past. Like I've done a lot, the Gem Show from last year, lots of my cooking videos, etc. All right, so. 
I haven't been liking my makeup lately and I think it's because oh I think it's because I I'm approaching 58 so I'm really starting to see it and oh funny thing I just um, I already mentioned it in my patreon about age and my wrinkles and whatever. I'm not gonna mention it again. All right, join my Patreon if you wanna hear what I said <laughs> about makeup, but. Uh, oh, that's a real enticement, isn't it? Oh, I've gotta go join now to see what she says about makeup. <sighs> and her wrinkles. I don't like bronzer anymore. So don't wear it then. I don't know, Faith, if I have. This is what I'm like saying. So today I wore the cream Fenty bright pink. And I wore it high and I pounced it. It's a cream, so I pounced it and pounced it up. But I'm not wearing any ma eye makeup I'm, uh, other than mascara and purple liner. I'm not wearing any contour or bronzer because I haven't liked how it looked on me. So I am looking for what you call a neutral blush, but I don't really know what that is. So I got this Essence Mosaic blush in the color 40, the Berry Connection. These little kids are staring at me because I'm literally talking to a <laughs> handle of a panda. girls that had been sitting there one left who said I like your nails the other one is staring at me because she can't tell they can't see the phone so it's like I'm just talking through the handles of my handbag so $2.99 crazy lady in booth <laughs> Don't make me cough. People will run. The I mean, for $2.99, this is really cute packaging. Think about Laura Geller. That's why she went down the tubes. She was in Sephora, then they relegated her to Ulta, and now, like, what is she still in QVC? I don't even know. Okay, so I'm just gonna mush all this around, swirl it all around. It's this color. Is this neutral? It depends on what color you are. It's gonna stick to the ointment. Ointment is for, it is a powder, yeah. And I don't typically like powders. It is, ointment's just for diaper rash as far as I'm concerned. Like I stopped using ointment when, actually Burke hardly ever had diaper rash because I was very good at drying his bum. All my friends, their kids had a raging diaper rash, but it's because they used ointment and they didn't dry them off enough. And I did use baby powder and made sure it wasn't near his face. Okay, so. Yeah, you do realize that they're now saying that baby powder has given people cancer, but hey, of course you were in the right, weren't you? The second I'm gonna get up and model for you in front of the whole food court. That's why I think I've done this one, because I remember her getting up and showing off. Because you have to, with cream blush, which I do love, you have to tap and spread it out like that. You don't, you can't smooth it. It has to be pounce, 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 and feather it out. Try that next time you use cream blush, because I love cream blush. So let's, I'm going to swatch it on my hand. my ganglion sack. <laughs> 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 
such a child. No, we're not saying that anymore, are we? She's a brat. What, just one of the many things I have to take care of. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what I got at Bath and Body Works, which is down there. And it's so good. It's down there. Really? What? what? Now I'm going to show you what I've got on my table. It's over there. Really? A strawberry pound cake in the spray. I still have... You made fun of my husband and me and it's not right. What did I say? I can make fun of anybody I want on my channel. She's doing it again, James. It's my channel. I can say what I want. This is my channel. I can say whatever I want. I can do whatever I like. I love that video. I love Sarah. Tay Tay, do not block them. I want to see what they have to say. I love using um, lipstick as blush. So this didn't it's not in the right container it looks purple it's the strawberries and strawberry pound cake what does the container matter if it smells how you want it to the real one is disgusting i don't even know who's, oh, this, this is the best scent ever i'll tell you when i'll tell you when to pull the trigger tay tay Oh my God, Carrie from Love Bugs and Lemon Drops got the strawberry pound cake and she's like, go, then go make a video. If you have a channel, go make a video right now. More wine color, okay. I don't even know who you are. Cynthia Beaumont I don't know who you are so I could not have insulted you and your husband I've never watched you I've this is the first time I've ever seen your name come up unless you're going under an assumed name uh, okay but I'm just saying even if it's not the real Cynthia just say who you really are hi Tony Marie okay but Cynthia or whoever you are, just go like this and stick it up your butt because we're not interested in hearing from you. So you can keep writing, Tay Tay. I don't even care if you block or not. It doesn't matter to me. I'm not responding anymore. Um, and I'm talking about something much more important. Anyone who has a channel also would not go onto someone else's channel and do that. Really? Uh, would they not? You do. I like. I have mostly peach and orange, and I'm just not liking how I look. And like this lighting is making me look really like sallow under the eyes. Okay, strawberry pound cake. Everybody needs to get this from Bath and Body Works. In any, um, hello coffee. In any of the consistencies, I still have the body spray, so I got the room spray, which I will spray on my body. Exactly, Faith. They've started doing Bath and Body Works stuff at QVC UK. Hella, like, hang on, let me show you the prices. It's like I used to drool over the, all the Bath and Body Works stuff people showed back in the day, and they used to go on about their semi annual sale, and it's like, I want to go to the semi annual Bath and Body Works sale. Right. Twelve eighty four for a shower gel and twenty four pound for a candle and then these six little ones are forty eight. Mini shower gel collection forty eight quid. The candles only got one star, they've only got one star. Oh we're on clearance now, are we? I'm not fucking surprised. The prices you charge and nobody likes any of it. That was 40 cologne. 
fragrance mist 18 I can get a fragrance mist like that from Revolution for a tenner or a fiver when they're on sale I'm going to have to oh we can't find that page oh I'm really sad there you go looks like Bath and Body Works went as quick as it came then this smelled so good I heard some woman talking with her son she was like we have to find the cucumber and lily I can't find the cucumber and lily so I found the candle and then I found you know they put the candle in front of the wallflower so you can smell it it smelled so good it's not that strong so I went over to her I was like I, I overheard you're looking for the cucumber and lily she's like oh yeah the, the soap so this smelled really, really nice. And they're still on sale, three ninety-five. Yeah, I don't think I'd like that. I don't like the smell of cucumber or melon or any of those watery things. They're weird, no. I'm like her with ointment and cucumber and lily. Blech. Then I watch Lisa Page made me do it. Poor Lisa Page. Her house, um, she's on Instagram. Somebody told me that I should watch her because we had a lot in common. She got a skinny pig around the same time that I got the skinny pig. Hi, Kathy. Um, oh, she must have been copying she you. She oh. has, I think, still a bearded dragon, which you guys know I sold Lizzie. So glad I sold Lizzie. Um, she has two dogs. She's conservative. She has guns. She, you know, the whole thing. Like, I mean, we're, we're very different. She's rich, I'm poor, she's married, I'm not. She has two kids, she's much younger than me. She has a really successful podcast. I'm not successful at anything, but she and I have texted. Anyways, doesn't matter, I just want you, um, yeah, can you- Yeah, cause you annoyed the fuck out of her, didn't you? And sent her a stupid text. Oh, I had a beardy dragon. I've got skinny pigs. Oh, I've got this. We're so alike. We should be BFFs. I'll thumbs up and can you all send me some super chats for the weekend? Like Tay Tay did. I'm just going to ask. Thank you. $1.99. E begging. That'll get them. It'll kill them. All right. She raved over this one. Pink, lilac, and vanilla. That I might like. And it really does smell good, so I'm excited to use that. Right now I have the vanilla birch in my two warmers. And it so kind of stopped smelling. <clears throat> I might switch them out. By the way, I took the vanilla birch out of one. Thank you, Tony Marie. That's Nobody could say anything nicer to me than that. I took, I unscrewed it. And I wanted to put it on myself and I burnt myself. So don't do that. It's hot. Really? Do you think? <laughs> Stupid woman. I oh, just bought a few things then. And then I got two hand sanitizers. If you're going to have to use hand sanitizer, why not make it smell nice? Like... I don't want to use the plain hand sanitizer anymore. It doesn't smell nice. I want it to smell nice. Strawberry pound cake smells amazing. I couldn't find it, so I got these two. The warm vanilla sugar, which is always good. Oh, it smells so good. And then this, I don't even know what it smells like. White almond lavender. Too much lavender, don't smell the almond. I'm really into almond right Maybe you should have smelt it before you bought it. That's the whole point, isn't it? When you go into the shop, they have testers for you to smell. Now, in fact, I'm so bummed. I got Amaretto coffee creamer from Walmart. When I got home, it wasn't in the bag. So for two days, I smell no almond. It smells nice though, but no, oh my God, that strawberry. Mm -hmm. The candle, the body spray. I used 
the hand soap, the body lotion, the, not the body lotion, but the soap. Okay, so I got those two. And then I got two new things that came out. Okay. I wish their stuff lasts longer. What was it that you guys told me about? Into the night? They don't have that in the spray anymore right now because it's a it's a winter fragrance. This is the new one called Belize Tropical Cabana. Oh my god, I can't read the notes. Banana. Banana! Daiquiri. Why don't you have your reading glasses in your handbag? What the hell does that mean? Just say banana. Juicy pineapple. And golden sands. What is that? That's nothing. Okay. Oh my god, it smells so fucking good. So, if you look at reviews online, people who got the small one are saying it smells like spoiled milk, but that's because they're not knowing that it's the banana. Kind of like if. How do you know? How do you know they're saying it smells like spoiled milk because they don't know it's got banana in it? They can read the notes just as well as you did. But you're so clever, you figured out that it doesn't smell like that. Whatever. You drink a Coke thinking it's a Coke and it's really root beer by mistake. And you don't know that it is. You, it's putrid. Hi, Diane. Mm. So the banana is what they're smelling. The banana has a slight tang to it if you think about it. Does oh it? God, really? It, just, it, is, it doesn't smell like bananas though it's it's a floral banana it's a banana daiquiri which is what you read mm, what's that why don't you say banana now you're saying it's a something else banana oh, almost like frangipan that's not how you say it she tries to make herself sound so intelligent frangipan really or frangipani. That's what it smells like. Belize. And then I really like this. I sprayed this yesterday, went back and got it, and it's so not me. Salt. Salt water. Fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. It has a... And I've just realised as well, you're spraying all this shit where people are eating. Really? I don't give a shit about anyone but herself. Sharp note in there. It's... sharp and a little salty salt water yes thank you happy plum mom nobody else nobody gave me a super chat hurrah because tay tay's stupid bummer. how am i supposed to buy these if nobody's giving me any money <laughs> kind of has that scent not like white linen if I was if I if there was somebody that I loved that I watched all the time that I knew needed money and that was having to always deal with haters uh, excuse me if there was somebody that i love that i watched all the time that i knew needed money um but you don't do you because you're eating out and you've bought a whole load of shit you've bought 
a new jumper, two pairs of shorts, a Lana Lips thing for your lips, that packet of three things, whatever that is, two wallflowers, two thingy mists, um, did I miss anything? You're sat there doing a haul saying you need money. Maybe don't buy shit you don't need, then you wouldn't be fucking e-begging for money. So people saying stuff and then taking her time to show you guys all these things and blah 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 and tell you stories. I would give a dollar ninety nine each time. I just would. No, you wouldn't. Not, not ten ninety nine. Not everybody can afford that, but a dollar ninety nine. It's like a tip. I'm sorry. I feel like I should be getting a tip. I'll give you a tip. Stop overeating and stop abusing your animals. There you go. For doing a live in the middle of, in front of everybody, in the middle of a mall, showing you stuff I got, telling you interesting stories and entertaining you. I'm entertaining you and I'm not asking. I don't want any, I don't want $9.99. I want $1.99. <laughs> And yes, every time. I want a dollar ninety nine. It's a chip. I have a tip. I have a You're getting paid by YouTube. Shut the fuck up. A tip jar. I'm providing Who? a service. Are you? Don't what? Be so selfish. What service? What service are you providing? That's how I feel because I'm just saying what I would do. Yeah. Of course you would. I would Thank do you, that. Jessica. Thank you so much. Two dollars, two pounds, which is, I think that's too much. I didn't. First thing she does is try to figure out how much it is in, in dollars. Rather than just saying, thank you very much, and moving on. I don't want four dollars. That's like three fifty or something. A dollar ninety-nine, I think, is what it defaults to. And that just shows me, okay, it's not even the money. I would give it back to you if you really want it back. It's, it's, first of all, it starts the roll. Second of all, it drives the haters crazy. Third of all, um, it's going to become the norm. I mean. No, it isn't. It's a tip. It's not paying me, it's a tip. Do you know what I mean? And YouTube takes 40% of that. So it's just kind of like a. Good, good job, Lori. You know, thank you. It's just a thank you. The same way. Well, thank you very much, Jessica. The same way I, you know, Marsha, if she's still on here, she purchased a bunch of my crap, as somebody would say, from Etsy. And I said, I want to give you a goal, a 14 karat gold filled. Um, Cuff bracelet. Do you want it in silver, sterling silver, or gold? And I threw it in because she had spent so much money. Like I think of that stuff. It surprises yeah. me that people don't think of that stuff. Parker, who has way more money than I do. How do you know? I was tipping him during his life because I wanted to get it going. You know, like I don't know. So I'm gonna just ask us because I really don't care. You're gonna hate me, you're gonna hate me. Okay, you want it raining super chats, don't you? I feel bad that TT. Yes, 40%. Do they though? I've been parroting what you said about them taking 40%. And I've never ever checked it. I'm going to actually check it. I'm wondering if she's saying that. So that will encourage people to give her a bit extra. Because YouTube's taking 40%. And maybe they're not taking 40%. It's like I thought you had to have 10,000 subscribers before you could do merch. And that was a load of bollocks, wasn't it, Lardy? Big fat lie. You just couldn't be bothered. But it's fine. Because I mean, if you want to get, that's why I say dollar ninety nine. Like, oh, I've got a hair annoying me. Want to give me bigger money? 
do it through PayPal, friends and family. But then again, when you give here, it encourages other people. Didn't though, did it? She's got the never ending can. She's been drinking that the entire time she's been there and she still hasn't got to the bottom of it. So I'm not greedy. I'm just. Yeah. I don't know. It just really makes me feel good when someone does that. How good does it really make you feel if you're having to ask them to do that though? When it's a dollar ninety-nine, so no big deal coming out of your wallet. I mean, it really doesn't do. I mean, it barely will buy me. A... Oh, really? How do you know it's not a big deal coming out of somebody's wallet? Soda. It's just the principle, you know? Okay. Lola, I can't go over. What do you know about principles? Virtual shopping. How would I even do that? Oh wait, I want to talk about Lisa Page. Thank you, Kathy64. So you agree with me, right? Of what I said? Thank you so much. Mm. No, I'm done talking about Lisa Page. But I, I love, I love that little skinny pig. Oh my God. I love it when he makes the noise. Work, 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 work. <clears throat> In fact, I try to get him to do it by playing other guinea pigs squeaking. How annoying would that be? One, he'd either think there was friends in the vicinity and he'd have someone to play with, or two, he'd be terrified that there were other guinea pigs in the area and he couldn't see them. And if you watch on YouTube, the little mouths go like this. God, I love guinea pigs so much. Yeah, you love them so much. You kept them five minutes and got rid of them as well. This guy that helped me at Bath and Body Works. I love guinea pigs so much. They are so sweet. They spend all their lives just trying not to get eaten. It's so sad. They are like bottom of the food chain. Really? They never get used to you picking them up like that. So don't pick them up like that just then. Always terrified. I mean, even if they come over to you and sit with you, they're just always waiting. They have to be so on guard just because of instinctually are you guys still there hello hello i wish uh, i wish bath and body work lasted longer nicole are you still on what if people are allergic to this and i'm spraying it all over the place yeah what if people are trying to eat and you're spraying it all over the place Oh my god, it smells so good. Because it smells like frangipan. Lola, you're still here. If you say that again. I know you were because you were the last one that commented. Um, I keep trying to pull this down because it feels weird. I haven't I haven't worn a turtleneck or mock turtleneck in so long. Let me just
show you what my favorite oh the guy at um the guy at dillard's gave me two samples of this it's estee lauder beautiful bell and it smells really good so he you know he gave me a bunch he was like i'm gonna give you a bunch what did he give me hang on he gave me oh Wait, I thought I had a big... Never happy, are you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. I thought there was something... Okay, anyways. I want to show you guys this, which I have shown. And, I, and then I'm going to get off because I'm, I'm going to put on lipstick. This is the best thing. See, I have you... Slid in right here. Showing you all the behind the scenes, behind the scenes secrets of how YouTubers do it. We've got 192 people on. At a dollar each. That would be nice. Okay, I'm over it. So this is the NYX in the color Moonwalk. Nyx. First what I do, I don't line my lips first. I first put on gloss, and this is my favorite, strawberry again. It's not pink or anything I got at Marshall's, but it, oh yeah, it smells so good. And it, it, it is the best gloss. City Lips is the best gloss ever, but it's $40. And I got the clear. Why would you pay $48 for a clear lip gloss? When you can pick up clear lip gloss by anybody for pennies. I think I got a discount because if you use Lisa's discount. But I, I can't just, but it's so, it is so good. It's so worth it, but I can't do it all the time. This is my next favorite gloss. It's totally clear. It's a strawberry lip. lip Who's it by? Oil. It's not oily like. It has such a nice texture and slip to it. And then, so people, I know that people think I got my lips done. I wish I could get my lips done. But I don't have the money to get my lips done. The last time I got them done was December 2019 in California. But I had had them done like six times prior to that. So it's, for my body, it's cumulative. It stays. Now I overline and they're going to even look bigger. Let me do it like this. Let me get some good lighting here. So you've had your lips done seven times in total. And people should feel sorry for you and give you money. Uh-huh. So you can waste it on strawberry things and shite. So really? Thank you. <laughs> so I see. Meh. So I do it after I have my gloss. I like a harder line. I don't need any. No, it won't work because you're putting it on the lip oil. And then I color in the sides here a little bit. Just so this looks a little more pouty. And then I go. Oh, <laughs> they say that about her. Oh man, alive. Over the line. This, I've got to get a picture of this. I normally have the same picture on both. Of oh, hang on, I can put this on the other one, can't I? On the vermilion. That looks ridiculous, Laudy. God, I have a lot of blush on, but, and you see how my lips look like huge. So what did somebody just write? Oh, 
I know the buy. I missed out on the buy one get one. <clears throat> what colors do you have? There's a color that Lisa's been wearing with a. She's been using like a brownish lip liner, and then this color. It's almost like a coral or something. But I, I just, I, um, I really don't have the money for it. Like I don't even have the money for any of this, to be honest with you. But. But if I don't spend money on a few little, like, stupid things, I, my life will be so much smaller. Like, thing is, you don't need to go spending money on stupid things. You could have been training your guinea pigs. You could have been fucking basket weaving. You could be doing anything. But... You don't feel happy unless you're shopping. I'm trying to bring the 80s look back, so I want to get MAC Myth and MAC Stone. That was the look in the 80s. Is it just me, or do her lips look ridiculous? I should go get it, but there's nobody at the MAC counter. I can't even look at the Mac counter. It's so sad. It's like, ugh. And plus I know I can replicate it. Stone had a lot of gray to it. I could get an eyeliner, line my, like a NYX eyeliner, and then use my Maybelline Bare All. Do that then. Sit at home and play with your makeup and see if you can make up the look that you don't have to go and buy the actual MAC lipsticks for. There you go. Make a video about it. People would watch that. My black shiny leggings are really cool, but they fall down. Because with leggings, you need them tight to suck you in. And they're too big because I got really skinny. Oh, I want to show you what I look like. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> These people in the food court don't know that they are like that they are in the presence of somebody that's pseudo famous. I'm an influencer, I'm a YouTuber. To the average person, if I told them I had almost 10,000 subscribers, that's a lot. To the average person that doesn't have a channel, they're like, wow. So, you yeah. know. They're gonna know I'm someone famous as soon as I stand up. <laughs> Lori, buy the try Huda Beauty. No, I'm not. Kathy, I'm not going to because it's more expensive. So I'll find a dupe without spending. And I won't buy anything at Sephora anymore. And because I'm boycotting Sephora because of what they did to a YouTuber, an influencer, which I hate that. She makes me laugh. She always makes a stand for the wrong person. It's like when it all came out about James Charles and his pastimes, she ran over the tatty eyeshadow palette to make out she because she didn't like tatty doing what she did really but it's okay for james to do what he did okay You have to Google it. I don't want to get into it. 
because yeah, you don't know the whole story and you're backing the wrong person. But anyway. They're all looking at her now, saying, what the fuck is that woman doing? And then my sneakers. That weird lady. With too much makeup. That I colored in with nail polish. Oh, you really influenced me. All right, you guys. So I'll come back later tonight. You influenced me to never do whatever the fuck it is you're doing. I think you mean to say you look cute. Thank you. I'll come back later tonight with my story about Mole Man. He's probably a really nice guy, but... He tried... Uh, ah, okay, wait, I'm just going to tell you a little bit more. He tried to blame the fact that I didn't want to talk on the phone and that I couldn't tell if we had chemistry on what happened to you that you're damaged and that was like what the fuck i just haven't met you and you're not making plans to meet me it's like i'll meet you right now no no i don't want it to be like that oh you're rigid just stop stop insulting me you know okay i'll come back to tell you more about it bye we made it to the end folks and if you made it with me congratulations and I will see you in the next one.